Hello, Pittsburgh Steelers fans. Today, I bring you an interesting story that will surely keep you watching until the end of the video. We're going to talk about Mitch Trubisky, a name we all remember well, and his return to Acrisure Stadium, though this time with the Buffalo Bills. But before we dive into the details, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates about your Steelers. Mitch Trubisky, no hard feelings toward the Steelers. Mitch Trubisky, now the backup quarterback for the Buffalo Bills, has experienced a roller coaster of emotions during his time with the Steelers. However, despite the ups and downs, Trubisky holds no grudges against Pittsburgh. In a recent press conference after the joint practice between the Bills and the Steelers, Trubisky shared some words that show his gratitude and maturity. They were two good years. I learned a lot. Even though it was personally difficult for me, I don't have any negative feelings about it, Trubisky said. Although things didn't go as he expected in Pittsburgh, Trubisky considers his time with the Steelers a positive experience in his career. He even admitted that he probably didn't do enough to succeed with the team, but he values everything he learned. What do you think, fans? Was Mitch Trubisky simply a victim of circumstances, or did he not live up to expectations? A relationship that remains strong. Even though he's no longer part of the team, Trubisky still maintains a strong relationship with the other Steelers quarterbacks, Kenny Pickett and Mason Rudolph. In fact, they're still in a group chat where they regularly talk. Trubisky joked that as soon as he arrived in Pittsburgh for the joint practice, Pickett and Rudolph asked him how the city was treating him. I thought they had my location because I had just landed and they were already asking me, Trubisky laughed. This friendship shows that beyond the competition on the field, there is respect and camaraderie among these players. Reflections before the matchup Saturday brings an exciting preseason game between the Steelers and the Bills, and Trubisky doesn't think it will be awkward. It won't be weird. Once the ball is in play, it's just football, Trubisky said, showing his focus on what really matters, playing and continuing to improve. How do you think he'll perform against his former team? Bills head coach Sean McDermott announced that stars like Josh Allen, Stefan Diggs, and Vaughn Miller will play at least a quarter and a half against the Steelers, meaning Trubisky will have plenty of time on the field. This will give him the chance to show his progress and keep learning from one of the best quarterbacks in the league, Josh Allen. Trubisky didn't hold back on praising Allen, highlighting his skill and ability to process the game cerebrally, something Trubisky continues to learn from every day. Mitch Trubisky's story with the Steelers is a reminder that sometimes things don't go as we expect, but every experience is an opportunity to learn and grow. Although his time in Pittsburgh wasn't what he or the fans hoped for, Trubisky moves forward with a positive attitude and is ready to face new challenges. What do you think, fans? Do you believe Trubisky will find success in his second stint with the Bills? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Trenton Thompson, a former safety for the Pittsburgh Steelers, had a tryout with the Raiders this Friday, as reported by Aaron Wilson of KPRC2 Houston. Thompson, 26, was released by the Steelers on June 19 after a challenging year in Pittsburgh. Thompson joined the Steelers last August during training camp and proved to be a valuable asset in critical moments of the season when the team faced a wave of injuries at the safety position. He participated in six games, starting in one, and managed to accumulate 22 tackles, three passes defended, and one interception. However, his season was cut short by a severe neck injury, which sidelined him for the last three games of the regular season and the playoff game. Despite the seriousness of his injury, Thompson chose not to undergo surgery, following the advice of doctors and players like Micah Hyde, who went through a similar situation. I didn't feel like I needed surgery, and the doctors agreed, Thompson said in a recent interview. During OTAs and minicamp sessions this spring, Thompson was a regular participant, demonstrating his recovery and commitment. However, his departure from the Steelers may have been influenced by the arrival of rookie Ryan Watts, a sixth-round draft pick by Pittsburgh. Before joining the Steelers, Thompson was an undrafted free agent in 2022 from San Diego State. He initially signed with the New York Giants, where he had a brief stint on the active roster and the practice squad. 
Recently, the Carolina Panthers also gave him a tryout on July 22nd, although he didn't end up signing with the team. With this tryout in Las Vegas, Thompson is looking to prove that he still has a lot to offer in the NFL. The Raiders may be looking to strengthen their defense, and Thompson, with his experience and determination, could be an interesting addition to the team. The Steelers could have a fascinating option at receiver if the Brandon Ayak trade falls through. The Pittsburgh Steelers have been actively exploring options in the wide receiver market as they continue discussions with the San Francisco 49ers about Brandon Ayak. However, the Ayak saga seems far from resolved as the player is still negotiating a new contract with San Francisco. Given this uncertainty, Steelers general manager Omar Khan might be forced to seek help from other teams, especially once final roster cuts are made. At one point, it seemed almost certain that Ayak would join the Steelers, but now no one is sure how this situation will end. Khan may need to prepare to look for reinforcements elsewhere or settle for the current group of receivers as is. Renowned NFL analyst Greg Rosenthal has suggested an interesting option that the Steelers might consider once final roster cuts are made. Jahan Dotson, a possible option for the Steelers. Jahan Dotson is a third-year wide receiver drafted by the Washington Commanders with the 16th overall pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. While he has shown flashes of his potential in the NFL, he has yet to fully live up to the expectations of a first-round pick. Rumors suggest that Washington's organization is not satisfied with Dotson's development, which could lead to his departure from the team in 2024, according to Rosenthal. Dotson faces intense competition in the commander's wide receiver room and finds himself in an uncomfortable situation. Washington is under new management, with a general manager, head coach, and owner who were not with the team when Dotson was drafted. There is no emotional attachment to the receiver, and cutting him wouldn't reflect poorly on the current management, but rather correct what is perceived as a mistake by the previous administration. Since joining the Commanders, Dotson has started in 29 games, catching 84 passes. His rookie season in 2022 was impressive, but an injury limited him to just 12 games, during which he recorded 523 yards and 7 touchdowns. In his second year, he played in 17 games, but his production decreased compared to his injury-affected rookie season. The coaching staff has been waiting for him to bounce back during training camp. With the internal competition in Washington and the presence of players like Diami Brown, rookie Luke McCaffrey, and free agent Olamide Zakos, it's very possible that Washington's new management decides to move on from Dotson, who could benefit from a change of scenery. Other options for the Steelers if the Ayak trade falls through. If the trade for Ayak doesn't materialize before the regular season begins, Khan should have several options once rosters are trimmed. Teams across the league are ready to part with some receivers, and one of them could be Kadarius Toney from the Kansas City Chiefs. Toney has struggled during his time with the Chiefs, making him a potential reclamation project for coach Mike Tomlin. Another option is veteran Robert Woods from the Houston Texans. Woods finds himself in a crowded receiver group in Houston, with many stars ahead of him on the depth chart. The Texans also have younger, unproven receivers they may want to give a chance, which could fill roster spots and leave Woods out. Would you like to see the Steelers acquire Dotson if he's cut? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.